Hey, this is Daniel Barth from MeetDanielBarth.com. Also, work with DanielBarth.com. I'd like to talk for a few minutes uh, today about autoresponders and about your list and about um, how to use your list and how to um, go ahead and um, do marketing through your autoresponder and um, just some pitfalls and some mistakes that I've made, some mistakes that I continue to make. Okay, uh, we're all works in progress here with internet marketing, and um, and I have made mistakes in these areas, and so it's really, really important to um, pay attention to this because your autoresponder can be a great asset. Um, one of the biggest things with um, your autoresponder and with your list is not just treating it like a one-time deal. You know, we've got um, with our autoresponder, there are automated messages that are sent out. Uh, but one of the biggest keys with autoresponders is broadcast messaging and is staying in touch with everybody. And that takes discipline. That, that takes, you know, you've got to remember to do that. You've got to make it a point. You've got to, you got to, you know, make an effort to do that because if you don't constantly stay in contact with your list, I don't mean every single day. But on a fairly regular basis, if you're not contacting the people on your autoresponder list, they're going to be like, Daniel who? <laughs> Daniel Barth who? Who's this guy sending this to? And instead of seeing it as information that they requested, which they did if they double opted into your list, which is what they usually do with autoresponders, um, you know, if they... If they did, then they've requested that information. But if you don't stay in touch with them, they'll forget who you are. A lot of these people, they are constantly looking at different opportunities. They're constantly putting their information in. And so they won't necessarily remember you. And this is something that I've, I've messed up with in the past, where you know they've gotten the autoresponder messages, but I haven't, I haven't been good about sending podcasts. And then, you know, there are complaints that are sent with the autoresponder, and then people are like, who are you? And the autoresponder, and with your list, this is, this is a big key, one of the big functions it serves is building relationship with you and your list. And what I mean by that is them learning more about you, uh, them learning more about marketing or more about your program or whatever, and um, and starting to build that trust, and suddenly they feel more like your business partner, and they're in the loop. They know what's going on, and that's powerful, and that that helps that helps them, and it helps you. And so that's that's a big function with the autoresponder is building relationship. Okay, that that building of a relationship is so huge because if you don't have that, then your list won't really know who you are, and you are just one time thing that they saw and and they just won't remember. And so think about that. And and this is a difficult thing because a lot of times your content that you're putting through your uh, autoresponder that that could take a backseat to emailing uh, people who um, just opted in or it might take a backseat to uh, creating new content because you might say, well I I haven't done a video in a long time, or I haven't done a blog post in a long time, or I haven't done this, or I haven't done that, and it can just kind of be put on the back burner. And that's so easy to do. It's a huge mistake, um, and, and it's an easy mistake to make. And so my encouragement is stay in contact with your list and be diligent about uh, staying in the up and up with your autoresponder uh, because eventually, if you, if you don't do that, the majority of your list will have no idea who you are, and it will be virtually worthless to you. Okay? You can have as big a list as you want, but if your list doesn't know you and doesn't care, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. I appreciate you taking time today to watch this uh, training video on autoresponders. I want to invite you real quick uh, to subscribe to my channel if you want to get more goods like this. Also, uh, there's a link below this video, and it will take you to my personal website where you can actually set up an appointment with me. You can learn a little bit more about me. Um, you can send me a message. You can get access to my coaching, my training. You can even learn uh, more possibly about working with me if you wanted to do that directly. Um, just some really great resources on that. But I would invite you to take the time to do that. You know, I, I encourage you not to, you know, just click another YouTube video and, and go on with things. But just take a few minutes 
and just go a little deeper and see if I can help you out because um, I really want to help you out with your marketing and um, and so we can definitely make that happen. If nothing else, you could just stop by, say, hey, say, I like your beard, Daniel. Um, say, that beard, that, that bird is really annoying who's in the background. Whatever you want to say, um, whatever. But um, definitely invite you to do that. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next website. Bye-bye.